Hey guys, I'm Paul, this is Maytech, and today we're going to show you how to make these laser cut veneer snowflakes. They're easy and fun to make and make great Christmas ornaments, so let's jump right in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is set up our software to cut the snowflakes. I'm using T2 Laser, you can of course use whatever software you like to use. The snowflakes are done with two smaller outside pieces sandwiched in between a larger inside piece. So we're going to load the smaller pieces into the software first. I've cut these in multiple sizes. The larger ones I did at 78 for the outside pieces and for the inside sandwich piece I did at 81. I'm going to set the speed on my 2.5 watt diode laser to 300. And I'm going to set the power to full, which in T2 laser is set with 255. And I'm going to make sure the setting is set to black and white. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the trace feature just to trace out the outside of the snowflake and all the little inside triangle and star bits. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and load this trace snowflake into the T2 software and get it ready for cut. I'm going to go ahead here and cut out my smaller outside snowflakes. I've tried this on multiple different types of veneer and they all seem to work well. I'm using a maple here. Now the one thing you should do is tape your veneer down to a piece of cardboard here like I have. This cause or this helps keep the veneer from bending up when it's hit by the heat of the laser which was a problem with some of the veneers I have. But after I taped it down there was uh, that solved that problem quite well. Okay, now let's go ahead and cut out the inside or larger snowflake that the two inside pieces are, ta are glued to. I'm going to set this larger snowflake to 81, being that the smaller 78 millimeter snowflakes fit within this just fine with a nice border. Once again, I'm going to hit it with the trace feature, and then I'm going to load it into T2's laser to cut it out. Now I'm using a darker veneer here for these larger snowflakes so it contrasts against the light maple of the inner snowflakes that sit on each side of this. You will of course only need to cut one of these larger snowflakes for every two of the smaller outside snowflakes. The next step is that you want to glue your three pieces of snowflake together to make the ornament. I'm using a glue pen here I purchased at my local dollar store. I've also tested white glues and wood glues and they all work great. I'm using the glue pen simply because it was the easiest to use, but you can use whatever glue is available to you of course. Uh, simply make sure here that you get all the individual corners so you don't get any separation in the snowflakes. And of course I'm gluing the outside pieces here and I will be attaching them to the inside sandwiched, sandwiched piece here. Once you've completed your gluing, you're going to want to lightly attach your outside piece to your larger inside piece and then move it around to line it up so you have an even, an even border all the way around. Now once you get it all lined up, you're going to want to put something heavy down on it to make sure it doesn't separate while you're gluing the other side. I'm gluing this side of the snowflake exactly the same way I glued the other side simply by applying glue to all the little bits and pieces here, all the little corners. Once you get this side all glued up, attach it to the snowflake the same way you attach the other side, making sure to only lightly attach it at first, line it up, and then firmly attach it after you have the border all even. In order to make sure the layers of veneer don't curl and separate while drying, I've placed mine under a plane of heavy glass. Once your ornament is glued and dried, it's now time to drill the hole that'll attach the hook to the string for the ornament. It's best to use a really small pilot hole on these, then drill it to the size you'd like the hole to be to make sure none of the, lead, none of the veneer actually separates or breaks. Once I got all my holes drilled, I attached some silver thread to each of the snowflake ornaments and then I got some of these metal Christmas ornament hooks from the local store and I attached that to each of the silver threads. Oh. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these laser cut veneer snowflakes. They're fun and easy to make. If you guys did enjoy the video, remember to subscribe to the channel and have yourself a great holidays.